yeah, a new game against Alex from uh, from Germany. Doesn't have a name in there, I guess. Oh, ah, he's got a name in there. It's um, someone from um, not too far away. I don't know him really, but um, it's a regional player. So uh, we got the Slav. Let's play Nazi 3. I'm not sure what's coming. A6. Yeah, let's go G3. This was um, Kromnik's choice recently in um, in London against Luke McShane. And uh, it led to some interesting um, play. Hmm. What this... I mean, I can just take, right? Is there some, some trick? Hmm. I don't think you can sack the exchange in this position. Quite often you can, no, not often, but sometimes you can do that. Okay, now uh, of course the knight is hanging, so I need to retreat him. Uh, yeah. But this um, whole procedure um, only led um, to a weak pawn on c4. Yeah, now the white squares are, the light squares are complete. Complete disaster. Okay, let's take it. Of course, I wanted to initially. Um, I wanted to um, fianchetto, but um, it's not possible anymore. Yeah, just queen a4. Get this in a pin. Yeah, what a disaster. Very quick, very quick game. Yeah, probably um, B5. He, he overlooked something essential here. Now it's just, um, it's just gone. And doesn't have a move really. Can he goes uh, queen D7, for example, just bishop B5. And black explodes. It's um, just not, B5 is simply not, not, uh, not a playable move. What he um, probably needs to do is uh, play um, play something like e6. It always it looks a bit passive, yeah, this kind of move. But um, you need to you need your bishop, which is a bit passive, to protect the light squares. You you cannot afford any luxuries like I don't know bishop f5 or something. You cannot simply cannot do that. After bishop g2 and knight e5, I'll get this pawn anyway. And then this this bishop is just um, not protecting the queen side, so um, yeah, very quick knockout here after b5, but still okay. A warning for for the opening for black. Um, and this line here with g3, I mean, this is uh, something you can have a look at for white. It's uh, quite an interesting way to to play this position. You need to be uh, ready to at some point uh, maybe sacrifice a pawn on c4. It's um, similar to to a Catalan, but um, it leads to fresh positions that are not so typical of the A6 uh, line. And uh, this is far less um, work, um, theoretical work that you need to do in compared to E3 or C5, especially, or A4, those other big moves. Yeah, thanks for watching this short video, admittedly.